of our fabulous final flowers to present for everyone today. And this is the only airing of the entire day. And just the name, the Pinky Winky Hydrangeas. <laughs> and they're so beautiful. First of all, the first thing I said to Alan is, oh my gosh, the color. Oh, by the way, I will tell you, we have, what, not even 300 of these to go around. It marked from $49.95 to $39.95 cents today plus the fact that we obviously have them available on flex pay for everything so these okay i know these are not easy to grow no 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 Wait. these are simple normal ones this is, are yeah these normal are the, ones are hard. this is the easiest hydrangea you will ever grow really? bobby honestly and All you can right. grow these here in florida these are panicle hydrangeas okay the the genetics behind these again it's it's what i've been saying on the show over and over it's really the genetics that make these plants successful That's you know, right, if you right. get good genetics to start with, it's mm -hmm. going to make all the difference in mm -hmm. your garden. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's important to start with the right plant and then put the right plant in the right place in your garden. Boom. Boom. Then you've got something that's going to be successful for yes. you for years to come. Exactly. That's the beauty oh of, of you make so an investment beautiful. with a shrub, okay? And it's going to be there. You want something that's going to live for a long time and bloom for a long okay. time. And what I love about Pinky Winky, and you can see the some of the pictures here that we have of them, is that this is a later blooming hydrangea. It's very different than the old fashioned mop head or round, mm -hmm. um, um, you know, macrophylla hydrangea that we know that grows in the shade. This grows in full sun. So part sun to full sun is so, where you want to plant okay, them. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. These will make a beautiful specimen plant in your garden mm. where you just, you, you might put a statue, a bird bath in front of it uh, with this as a backdrop. These things will bloom for three to four months. The flowers hang on them. They're beautifully dried uh, or beautiful dried in arrangements. So there's a lot of, I guess, qualities and attributes of these that people really ought to consider. I yeah. love them, and we use them as cut flowers at the farm. We yeah. cut them and bring them in. Uh, oh. We dry them. We use them in fall arrangements, and they just get used so over and over and beautiful. over. But the coloring is so beautiful. Right, on them too. it's that it's blush like that. of pink that I think makes yeah. them so beautiful and so special. Right. That's what I love about them. Yes. And they grow really fast. The shrubs. I mean, you yeah. can see this is the plant that you'll get, and you can see just already this year, just this spring, this thing has already grown mm. almost a foot. Wow. So they grow really quickly. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing to think about is, I talked about it being maybe a, a specimen plant, just something you might see on your patio. Mm -hmm. These will grow in containers as well. We, okay. grow, we grow them in large containers. Put them in, or say a but large container, But you need container, a large right? container okay. because this plant is going to grow up to about eight feet tall and about eight feet wide. What? These would oh make a gosh. gorgeous hedge. Hey, I was just saying they would be a beautiful Now, think hedge. about this. I've seen yes. these as solid hedges, and when they're in full bloom, I mean, it is a cold oh, knockout. I, I mean, it's I just gorgeous. Yeah. Unbelievable. isn't it? Yeah. So can we grow them anywhere? You, these will grow from sort of mid-Florida all the way up into Minneapolis and Canada, okay? Mm. So they're a mm. really wide-range shrub. They're a mainstay plant for the for the garden. What I would like to do as a designer is always look for a place where I could set this deciduous shrub, because it's gonna lose its leaves in the winter, okay. against an evergreen background or against a solid background. Right. It'll come out in the spring, and then by early summer, they begin to show these blooms, and those blooms will persist all the way until fall. So, seriously, the blooms themselves will last Oh, yeah, long? yeah, 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 absolutely. Oh Absolutely. We'll cut them. Then they'll begin to, they'll go from that sort of beautiful white pink. Right. They'll begin to senesce and turn that beautiful green and a little pinker. That's the time to cut them and dry them. So if you're into making those beautiful wreaths for the fall, they, oh, these, these dried gorgeous. hydrangea wreaths are a knockout. And these plants are perfect for using for that purpose. You and know. very hardy. Oh yeah, hardy, and hardy <laughs> implies be cold tolerance. Mm -hmm. So these are absolutely very hardy. So if you live in a part of the country where it's mm -hmm. really, really cold and you want flower power coming from a shrub, Pinky Winkies are the God. answer. And, and then, you know, we were showing you, obviously, a minute ago, the map. And now what you're looking at is how this comes to your home, right? right? exactly. 
Yep. And we actually have it right here for right. you as well. And $39.95. With everyone calling, I have maybe 100 of these. So just a very, very limited number to go around. What a pleasure. Thank well, you thank so you. much, Alan. I love gardening with you. Thank you. I know I'm we'll learning. We'll do it some I more. can do it. I can do it. <laughs> you can. You've got that green thumb. <laughs> We're going to bring it out. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Do not go anywhere. Definitely stay where you are. And we are going to help you out with the perfect soil and conditioner as soon as we return. Stay with us.